Breaking news, a very sad, um, I mean, announcement I want to bring to you people. It's sad because Nigerian government, they lie too much. Do you know that one of the two people killed by DSS in Sunday Boho's house was blind? So you see what I mean when I said sad. DSS lied that when they got there, they, 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 they engaged in a gun battle with Sunday Boho people that were in his house. The reason why they kept the people for over 61 days, even after lawyer has said, the judge has said they should, be, they should be released, you know, DSS still kept them. Remember that they gave a very high condition for them to be bailed. And even after they said they should be released, you know, and after the bail conditions were met, they still needed a lawyer again to come and, uh, a lawyer again to come and sign. The lawyer signed, DSS now filed a lawsuit saying, no, ah, no, 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 they cannot go. Uh, they have to do this, do that. Uh, they want to bring charges again. You have no charges. As a matter of fact, Nigerian government should be sued over what happened in Chief Sunday Boho's house. They have no business keeping those people for more than 24 hours. Anyway, what will they talk so now? What is supposed to be? But it's not the reality of what is happening in Nigeria. Sadly, this is what goes on. Do you know one of the two people that were killed? by the bullets as they were shooting was blind so how did a blind man take a gun and start shooting can you see that nigerian government are murderers sadly but that is what it is please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time let's get all the details one of the two persons killed by dss in chief sunday buho's house was blind about two months after the Department of State Security Services stormed a badon home of Yoruba Nation agitator Chief Sunday Adeye, more popularly called Igboho, more factors emerged on the identity of the two people that were killed during the operation. The DSS has said the two people that were killed were during a gun jail. But lawyer to Igboho had said that the deceased did not involve in any battle against the security operative whatsoever. According to him, one of them was actually blind. Noting that it was he was a disabled, it was dis, it was his disability that left him standing. That's why the bullet got to him because other lied down as the shooting continued. Speaking after the release of the eight. Eight out of the 12 arrested by DSS, the lawyer said, the people that DSS claim that they killed in Igonjo, this peop those people were actually hiding during the battle, trying to prevent themselves from being killed because any room the DSS operative entered, they start spraying the bullets shooting. These people were helpless. They were hiding. And when they, and they were in the dark, when the DSS came in, they just shot sporadically and shot them. As a matter of fact, one of the persons that was killed in Chief Sunday's Boho's house could not see. He's a blind person that Sunday Boho is helping. The two people that were killed, one was blind. He was in the bathroom hiding and did not know how to dodge when the bullet spray shooting started. The identity of that person was called Adisa Shagyu popularly called Adogun, Igboho uncle, who was living with him and was assisting him because of his condition. Is that not sad? Just to let you know. That's, that's the way I feel. As a matter of fact, I feel so emotional right now. Honestly, honestly. It's only somebody with a heart of stone that will not understand that there is oppression, serious oppression going on in the land of Nigeria. I'm sorry, but I just want to take a moment because it's really sad. It's really sad, you know. There is too much oppression in the land. One of the persons was his uncle who was blind. And the kind of kind-hearted person he was, all he wanted to do was to support, was to assist, was to, was to ensure that, you know, he's not left on the street. Not, not everybody will bring a, a relative to their, house, to their home or to their house. But Sunday Boho dared to bring him home, you know, you know, looking after him. That's where he will eat, you see. That's where he'll be well treated. And, you know, we know how Nigeria society, we, don't, we have no provision for dis disability, for those with disabilities. Those, those in need of, you know, that are, that are living in disability in one area or the other of their life. We know how it is in Nigeria that there is no opportunity for them largely. 
It takes those who are from very wealthy family to have help. You know, we know some people that are, you know, that are super in us in our country, but that we are blind, but go and check the history. Thank God for their parents. They were well to do. Not just every Tom, Dick and Harry, you know, we know of one very superstar who was born blind. But guess what? The parents sent him to America. You know, he knows how to play the instrument. Yeah, the, the channel, the gift he has within him was well channeled. You know, to, was what channeled to ensure that he becomes somebody who is not a dependent because he has any form of disability. So when you look at it, you know, that's how a society is supposed to be. So how was he, how was he able to, those things tailored that he was able to become somebody that is independent despite his disability? It is because society like that, developed country, make provision. They don't, they don't discard people with disability. They are part and parcel of the society. They are part and parcel of the, of, the, of, the, of the people. And they don't just look down on them. They don't just say, who is this one? They don't disdain them. No, they have a part. They have a role. And you treat them with equality, fairness, truth, you know, and that's the way it is. Disability does not mean that the person is less privileged. I mean, is it his fault that he was maybe born blind or became blind as a result of sickness or something? It could happen to anybody, you see. And so that's why we don't write people off. But sadly, Buhari's government, I must say to you again and again, is a government, you know, that is, that, 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 that is terrible, sadly. I feel so bad about, you know, hearing that one of the persons was disabled. One of the persons was disabled. What could he have done? They said he was actually hiding in the bathroom, on the bathtub. He was trying to hide. But you know, it's, and it said that as soon as they, those people came in, then any room they enter, they just start shooting sporadically. So the person does not even know what was going on. One of the person, funny enough, is his uncle. Is his uncle who was living in his house. How many of us have relatives living with us that we are looking after? You know, Sunday Boho does not have to be in Nigeria. You know that, right? You know, yes. Because, I mean, his wife is a German. And due to the bond of marriage, could as well apply for his German citizenship or live there for a period of time, meet the criteria and get the citizenship. If he sees that Nigeria is becoming a place that, you know, will just fashion the whole place and, you know, go and live in a place that, you know, he will, he will, he will, he will have peace of mind. But, knew, but no, he decided to stay. And to look after people. This is the crime Chief Sunday Boho has committed. Oh. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.